Today we're going to talk about winterizing your dome, how to seal it up and hold in all the heat from the sun. So let's look at some ways to manage your vents. Here we've got a vent. We're going to open it up and show you how the pistons work and how to disconnect them and how to unscrew them. With the piston counterclockwise, loosens it to the point that it will take a lot more heat to open this vent. So this is really good for like the beginning of winter if you're in a cold place but the days get warm and the days are sunny. So you build up a lot of heat in your dome. So you just unscrew them all the way until they get to the very end. And then later on in the winter, you'll wanna just completely disconnect your piston. And you can just leave it just like that and then close your vent and that vent won't open now until you want it to in spring. Some things to consider about your vents is temperatures outside and inside, um, day and night. If your days are still getting really warm, like anything above freezing or above 40, and your nights are getting pretty cold, then it's nice to just unscrew those vents so that you get some ventilation, because if the sun is out, then your dome is gonna accumulate a lot of heat, which is great, um, but not too much. And then if the days are getting, you know, right around 30, maybe a little warmer, and your nights are getting very, very cold, and if you have snow piling up outside or ice accumulating on your dome, you definitely wanna disconnect to those vents so that you're not burning out your pistons. And here we have the overhead vents. I've already unscrewed this one, but you'll see if I turn it clockwise, if I keep turning, it will open. But what you want to do in the winter to let it build some more heat up here is to just completely unscrew it till it's, till it's all the way to the end. So here you see the thread, and it's about uh, maybe of an inch and a half or so when you fully withdraw it. And you see it'll come out completely, but you don't want to do that because then you'll lose it. Regarding your overhead vents, um, I just unscrew them to the very end, about an inch and a half, but not all the way, just as far as you can without pulling them completely out. Because if your dome gets very hot, which it could, even if the days aren't getting above 20 degrees, if the sun is shining, your dome could get very, very hot. And that's kind of a safeguard. If you unscrew them, your dome will have to get very warm for it to open, but it's there just in case. And when you unscrew them, it takes quite a bit longer for them to open, quite a bit more heat. And your fans. Um, sealing them up, you can get very creative with this. You can use old pieces of tarps, you can use old pieces of greenhouse fabric, or um, blueboard, uh, polycarbonate, all kinds of things can be used to fit into that spot and fasten into your wood frame. And uh, I would recommend doing that as soon as the nights are around 25 to 20 degrees. And uh, you can take it, make it something that's removable, that you can kind of work with the going into winter. You can take it off, put it back on, depending on the weather. So we have a piece of blue board cut to size for this vent. And we just put it between the wood slats and push it up there and then make sure it's secure. Now some people put a screw through the bottom or through the side into the wood. That's an option. This one fits pretty perfectly. I don't have to do that this winter. So here we have a larger fan and I'm using a piece of old greenhouse fabric, but you could use um, any kind of poly or any kind of tarp. You could even technically use like cardboard, but probably won't make it all the way through the winter, but all kinds of things can be used here. And I kind of fold the top to get it really all the way up to the top, and that's important. You want it well sealed. So I push it all the way out and get a good seal on it. And we have this wood frame in this fan, and I staple to the wood frame. You could use wood screws. You could use all kinds of things, but this is easy. Regarding temperatures in your dome, in the winter you want to build up your daytime temperature while the sun is shining and you want this tank 
to really build up warmth because this is your thermal mass. And then the rocks on your floor, you know, the soil in your beds, all your thermal mass. So you want to get it really warm in there if your nights are getting down to like teens and zeros. You want to build up as much heat during the day. And usually if you can get your dome to like right around 90 before it starts venting or before you go and vent it, keep an eye on that thermostat, then you can get through some seriously cold nights. Um, an advantage is snow and ice. Snow and ice are always going to hold more warmth, like an igloo effect in your dome. So if you've got sun and then you've got snow and ice on the outside, you can get well into your sub-zeros and everything will be great inside your dome, as long as it's not right up against the polycarbonate. So let's talk a little about ventilation in the winter. This is probably the most challenging little balancing game that people work with. Obviously your plants need air and they're going to do best with air around them. It's going to help to prevent diseases um, and fresh air. It's going to help to um, keep them healthy in all kinds of ways. And yet, if the air is very cold, it's kind of tricky. So what I do is I let the domes, especially if the nights are getting very cold, I let the domes get to that 90 and then I'll open a door, I'll open a vent, you know, pull off the tarp or turn the fan up and I'll get some airflow for a time, maybe an hour or two, just to get the air circulated, then close everything up well before like 2 p.m., let everything get nice and warm again, and then do it again the next day if you've got sunshine. If you don't have sunshine and you're in a storm cycle, keep everything well sealed, it'll be fine. Everything kind of goes to sleep during those times. Make sure to check out our other videos to optimize your four season growing. As you know, long cold winters are what domes are designed for. So we all wish you happy, successful gardening through your winter.